Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I just got busy over the last few days. I apologize. I <laughs> I'm kind of I'm a little bit behind on my recordings. I wanted to do a little bit more Wizard of Legends. There is, of course, Cult of the Lamb that I'm still working on. That's to say, and that's to say nothing of just other things of interest, like. I just started playing Rogue Legacy 2. Yes, I know that game has been out for a while. But I just got into it myself, and I'm really loving it. I like Rogue Legacy 2. Just in case there is, there is any... Just in case there is any, you know, question about it, let me say it again. I like Rogue Legacy 2. Like, I like it a lot. That's a good part of the reason why I've been why I've been absent. Let me not beat around the bush. I like that game a lot, and it's definitely been taking up some of my time. So apologies for that. Hopefully you're not too upset with me. So there's that, and I'm all I've also been very interested in picking back I'm not picking back up, but <laughs> And let me also be a little bit more honest. It wasn't it's not necessarily directly my choice, but someone out there is interested in see, in seeing some seeing some dead cells. I'm not going to lie. I haven't played that game in a while. That's not necessarily a bad thing, and I'm certainly not going to turn down a request. I'm not I'm interested in getting back into it, but oh, that game has changed so much. <laughs> All right, so for today's video, obviously we're going to be doing <clears throat> we're going to be doing magnetic follow-up alongside Earth Knuckles. It is a Sierra Mist this time, by the way, so you know, let there be much rejoicing. But I figure this one is going to be let's let's just be honest, god awful. I really don't think this is going to have the same oomph to it that's... That fueled Berserk did, so... Like, fueled Berserk actually made Earth Knuckle seem... seem like a... like... Legit top tier. Yeah, you know, let's be fair, kind of. With fueled berserk, it kind of is. Now, I certainly don't think it's awful, but I've definitely seen better. As perfect as Knockout Boulder is, just about all the enemies in this run resistance. Do I even want it? Now, normally I try to avoid using Chaotic Rift. I'm using it this time because, I mean, alongside everything, alongside every, all the problems that this run is going to have, because, yeah, let's be fair, the magnetic follow-up is really not doing what I was what I wanted to. Like I wish just because of, just because of the larger activation time on the disc that you would get just like a wave of stones instead of just you know a couple of piddly little rocks. But It is what it is, and I just have to I just have to work with what's there instead of you know, instead of going like, oh what who but here's what could have been. Well you don't need to focus on what could have been, you just have to focus on what is. What is is unfortunately very lackluster.
I should also just I should also be a bit more transparent. The reason why I went with Chaotic Rift is because I knew I wasn't going to take retro floor plans for this particular run. So I thought it would be a good idea to not have to worry so much about upgrading my Arcana. Doing that thing where she uses the curtain as a makeshift hide, but I don't have a problem with her. <laughs> All right, let's not beat around the bush here. This combination of this combination of Arcana and Buff is just not good. <laughs> Like I actually feel like I'm playing on on a more on a more expert difficulty just because I have I the damage I'm doing is so pitiful. But with a power build, I suppose I should just bite the bullet and take knockout. work nicely with the knockout boulder and the magnetic follow-up and you know it's a freebie why not <sighs> all right so after one level i can already tell you that that magnetic follow-up is simply not working I know the conclusion there seems obvious, but remember, this isn't a, this isn't about learning something new. This is about, at least in this case, confirming a bias. I was honestly hoping to have that to have my confirmation bias proven wrong, but it seems like we couldn't be that lucky. Make it even worse. All right, we got a couple of interesting things. We got a nice area sweeper with Inferno Beam. Obviously, upgrade the uh, magnetic follow-up. That's definitely worthwhile. And we'll just go ahead and drop that for you. A little bit of extra income is certainly not a bad thing. Just as true in the game in the game as it is in real life. Alright, and we're probably gonna want Lotus Frost. <clears throat> Depending on what my finances look like at the end of this level, it will that will determine whether or not the choice. The choice ends up being Lotus Frost Stone or Inferno Beam. Obviously, if I can afford both, I would rather get both. Very Earth-heavy run. 
At least it will be if I take that, but I think having a having a good a good area sweep for like infernal. Probably help. Give me more time with the rocks. gonna tell you right now, if I was using the Retro Floor Plan, I would already have been overwhelmed and suffering. Alright, so let me explain the problem that I'm that I'm seeing with this setup. Mag magnetic follow-up is a is a follow-up that gets that would get the most out of out of basic arcana that strike quickly and rapidly. Or rather I should say that have many that have multiple activations. And that's part of the reason why perforating jet didn't get much from it, is because on top of the amount of damage that it was doing, it just wasn't adding on enough for that enough for it to be worth the sacrifice worth the sacrifice of another of another supporting arcana. And now with this one, what we're seeing is that one, magnetic follow-up isn't getting enough activations of Earth Knuckle to, to be worth to be worth the investment of another of another arcana. Um, I would actually rather not have that, but I know what I can do with it. There you go, use it in good health, sir. Now I can afford the Lotus Frost Stone, but I can also afford Inferno Beam, which is a good range sweeper. Also, something that Shu is weak, so the more the better on that, on that one. Alright, so as I was saying, and I'm probably going to end up repeating myself, but magnetic, magnetic follow-up isn't getting enough activation from the basic to send out enough stones for the damage it adds on to really be worthwhile in comparison to having another another arcana there that can support its peak. On the uh, but on the other hand on the other hand earth knuckles isn't seeing enough of a damage buff for it to be, yeah, for it to be all that worthwhile. And yes, it's more damage, but again, Earth Knuckle would be, yeah, would be better served having something else that that better complements the playstyle, which would be something that either hold, either controls the area and holds enemies still, like Spark Array, or just something to double down on the idea that Earth Knuckle is going to go with a power build like Exploding Fireball, or like Crystalline Balestra or something. So I think in both, on both accounts, magnetic follow-up loses out by not having something that supports it. But get out of here. 
Oh, it's right. So, yeah, these two Arcana do not work well together. I think it's actually... It's actually kind of frustrating trying to mash these two together. And I know I've used this analogy before, but it's like taking two things that are, at the very least, pretty decent on their own, and putting them together to get, or to get horrible monstrosities. In this case, I would like to use the analogy of mashed potatoes and grape jam. On their own, these are both things that can that can get some work done for your culinary desires, but put them together and. Some of you probably just threw up in your mouths a little bit just thinking about that. I apologize, but I did it for a reason. finish up the run with this, but then afterwards we're probably not ever touching this combo again. You could look at that and go, oh that's two that's two failures in a row. Perforating jet is awful. The problem is it's not or not perforating jets, magnetic follow-up. Yeah, that'll have to do. Admittedly, the other reason why I didn't take the retro floor plan is because I kind of missed the old rooms. The retro floor plan on you get a lot of arena rooms. And, and again, it's, it's a way to it's a way to advance the challenge, but it gets exhausting just doing arena rooms. frustrating as some of the like crazy combat rooms in the retro floor plan setup. I I wasn't actually aware that retro floor plan actually completely 
changed the entire setup of, of the castles. And maybe I should have by the idea that you're using an older floor plan. Or at least one with different ideas. Alright, so... Reason why you're seeing an, in, an improvement in... in how well the setup is working is because of two things. The Sidewinder's Badge and the Evening Gloves. Without those, I would say that Magnetic Follow-Up plus, plus Group Knuckles is actually just straight up not, not viable. Wow, I just got fooled by someone listening lazily to the left. is definitely one thing that we can take in this. But I do think that Sturdy Wooden Easel is actually the better choice. Now you see the other reason why I tend to why I tend to stick with my retro floor plans because it alleviates having to worry about worry about how much money I'm spending on things. I see you there, breezy gray canvas, but unfortunately you're not useful. Shame that I have to say. God damn it, I got up button again. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Ah, that's the end of the Sierra Mist. Seismic Entry. I like it, but it's not good for this run. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I chose Inferno Beam. Because I knew I was going up against Shu, and as I've said before, I'm pretty sure Shu is the hardest of the council. Now, in order to in order to get everything to work out the way I want it to, I'm actually not going to upgrade I think, given the current setup, the best thing we can do is leave it non-upgrade. I'm actually going to wait before I, before I upgrade my robe, because I want to see if the 
a token of elegance is I can find. have so much fun just throwing around knockout boulders. I do have to admit it is a fun... That's not even a guilty pleasure. That's just, you know, I don't like what I'm seeing over there. Let's chuck a giant rock at it. I mean, who doesn't... Who doesn't have visions about being the Incredible Hulk or something like that? Or, for those of you who are a bit more cultured, Fezzik, the Princess of Pride. I know what some of you are thinking. God, you make a lot of reference to movies. Are you sure you're not a movie guy? Trust me when I say I am not. There's a lot of movies out there that people probably have fond memories of or just think are real. <coughs> or, you know, have some really interesting things to say about modern films that I know nothing about. There are a lot of movies out there that I haven't seen. Case in point, would you believe that, you know, what people keep saying is one of the best films ever made, Citizen Kane? Never seen it. I have never seen Citizen Kane. It's not like I'm not interested. Just haven't done it. But thank you, Sam. Mm-hmm. Now, see, to you, all that back and forth movement probably looked erratic. To me, it looked fantastic. I knew what I was doing. Also, I just realized I never did roll. For, I never did roll for the soundtrack. said no you don't get to teleport to that one.
I'm doing. I think it's going to depend on what's available in other shops. So I will wait on that. I mean, we can't say no to Sylvan help. That would just be awful. I have one jump arcana, but... Hell. Oh, wait. Which piece of gaudy headwear do you think would be better? Oh, I've got three pieces of gaudy headwear. Hang on a second. So, do I like the raccoon mask, the bunny ears, or the jewel tiara? Ooh, which one makes me look the most ridiculous? Comment below and let me know your opinion on which one of these you think looks the most ridiculous, but I'm going with the Jewel TR first. But, I mean, there is no wrong answer. All three are, ev are every bit as ridiculous as, as each other, and, and equally worth wearing just for the... interesting that the chests spawn in between two waves of enemies, and it was a mimic, so it was just another enemy to add on to the crap ton that were in that room. Let it never be said that sometimes teleporting in place useful. That's some advanced advanced movement tech that you don't see very often. It's a chance to teleport in place and avoid damage. Oh, I haven't even seen the red port yet. God damn it, where is it? I'm all oh there. I'm also well aware that I forgot to pick up a cursed relic from Knox the first time I saw him. I started thinking about that like after it happened, I was like, oh boy, I feel dumb. I completely missed missed a cursed relic to power up my curse eater's mask. So oopsie, oopsie. Again, I like Dragon Dive, I just don't think it fits with the tone of this run, which is, you know, all about overwhelming power. Well, it should be about overwhelming power, but then there is. Ow. Then there is magnetic follow-up just mucking up the works. Honestly, a magnetic follow-up would be would be better off left behind for something like bouncing surge or Bouncing bubble. Basically anything that bounces. You know, bounce man. I took a few more hits there than I wanted to, but oh well. Again, I repeat, I'm pretty sure that Shu is the hardest council boss in the game. And no, I don't include Master Sura in that because he's kind of like 
kind of like Mr. I'm above, I'm above the council, but kind of not. I don't know, what am I even talking about? Look at me still trying to make this work. This was kind of an annoying one. I know it's not over yet, but I mean, let's be fair. Or at this point, it's not like I'm going to lose. I'm just going to not have fun winning. Just got right up in his face. I don't believe you. <laughs> This is definitely an F, or I guess the lowest grade I can give it is D, unless I want to add in an F. So yeah, that's going to do it. This one, not good. And if you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I can make that work, sure you can make it work, or you can use another Arcana that synergizes much better with Earth Knuckles. Like, if you're going to use a buff arcana with Earth Knuckle, I mean, I would say just use Field Berserk, but I have a, f I have a feeling that Lightning Aspect would be a good one to use, too. I will follow, we'll follow up with that when I get there, but for now, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support and, and your patience with me while I'm figuring out my schedule and everything. So do all the usual YouTube stuff. I'm always happy to see you guys enjoying my videos, and I'm also happy when you make requests of me. It might have been a while since I've played Dead Cells, but I'm not about to turn down that request because, hey, I really like that game. I just haven't played it in a while. So it'll be a good chance for me to see what all has changed and get back into it. So look forward to that. Look forward to some Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, look forward to this. I mean, I have a lot on my plate, but I think I'll be able to manage it. So here's hoping I'm not wrong about that, and I will see you in the next one. My name is Darksage Walker. And